Step in the box, baseball fans. Welcome back to another episode. We have 20, 2020 Topps Chrome Value Packs, a.k.a. Cellos, with the five pink refractors. These are the Walmart ones. This was an eBay pickup. So again, 20 total packs. Going to be busting all in one. We're going Lou Bob hunting, plus all the other really good rookies. So let's step in the box. Let's strap it up. Let's get that pine tar on the bat. Let's hopefully we knock one out of the park. So yeah, this was an eBay purchase. Felt like buying some Topps Chrome. Sold a few cards. There's a cubby. Sold a few cards. So I was like, I'm going to buy these. Got a real good deal from an inexperienced buyer. Somebody close. Shipping was cheap. And the dude didn't make a whole lot of money, I'll tell you that. But I'm happy. He's happy. And it's the game that's got to be done to get cards these days. There's a Lux right off the bat. Let's pull that out. I'm going to sleeve that, get that going. So if you just watched my last episode, my buddy hooked me up with a, a blaster and four value packs and pulled a Kyle Lewis Sapia Boba Shet Refractor and a Boba Shet Base. So we're off. We're going rookie hunting. Hoping to pull lots of rookies, all the hot rookies. And even though that's not a hot rookie, that's a long term, just put it in a box rookie. So let's keep it rolling. There's a Big Meat Pete right on the bat, right on the back. Big Meat Pete swinging a big stick lately. His home run total is starting to go up. That's good news because I have some really nice Series 2 rookies of his. But we are Lou Bob hunting tonight. We would really like to pull some Lou Bobs, a couple of them. There is a refractor. Mondesi. Let me get this. I had my, I had my battery plugged in. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm good on battery. Plug it back in if I have to. Again, this is amateur hour, guys. I've been doing the grind here since March started during the pandemic. Been opening cards here at the kitchen table. And there's a Dylan Cease rookie auto. I'm in White Sox country, so wrong White Sox auto, guys. But we got an auto. I'm going to put that one right there. Eloy insert. I'm right between Chicago and Milwaukee. Olsen, Dovers, Cruz, and the wrong White Sox. But I actually have a guy who's putting together the whole set of refractors and I'll sort these out and get them to them. This Bellinger, I had one stuck right there. There's one stuck. Gummy. Rookie, nothing. Nico Horner, that'll go on my Cubs pile. PC pile. So it'd be interesting. There's a K, another KB, pulled one in the last episode. Keep this rolling. Kind of put a couple hits there. So we're off to a decent start. Auto and a Lux. Big Meat Pete Cup. Eloy. Refractor right there. So, yeah. Threw down seventeen fifty a pack total all in on these. It's always a risk when you're buying cards. 
figure I only paid, I didn't pay too much over, uh, considering if I'd have to drive around, that's going on my cubby pile. There's a cubby pile and a trout. Look at this. Caught two trouts. Bingo. Any trout's a good trout. Let's get that in there. Let's get this trout in there. Those are such good looking cards. They look really good under this light too. Man. Whew. But yeah, I mean, I don't mind paying over retail when the prices aren't too bad. And especially for these five, the five pack pinks. I mean, that's where I'm hoping to do some damage. I'm hoping to pull, there's a Kyle Lewis, hoping to pull multiple um, really good pinks. It'd be nice to get one of each, but that's not realistic. But imagine doubling up on Lou Bob. Looking for the Lou Bobs. So they're looking for rookies and refractors too. That would be wonderful. So last pack of the first row of these. So I'm gonna move the base up here. I need to make myself some room. And let's move on to the next stack. So got four stacks of these total. There's a bachette on the back. Too bad it wasn't the base. It's all about the base to me. So we pulled a, a Lewis and a bachette in this. I think these inserts are great, but I would much rather have the base rookie card any day of the week. Hobby buys, my Cubs pal's getting big already. Refractor. Tommy Edmond, Cardinals. Keep it rolling. Rowdy. And there's a rookie. Put a sleeve on that. Toro. Got a few of him. You can't count out Astros players, man. They're, their front office guys, man, have been doing some damage. They have been picking up some studs, so. Insert Hoskins. I saw his values going up a little bit, guys. Not a lot, but it is going up. Scherzer, Refractor. So yeah, this video is gonna run a little long, but I just decided I'm just gonna, I wanna just bust through these. I was gonna wait, I thought I was gonna have to wait till tomorrow, but this is usually puck, yeah. There's a puck, puck, yeah. Um, usually, my mail is here about 1 p.m. Central typically, somewhere in the afternoon at least. And man, it just came at 7.30. So they were running way late after the holiday. Insert, insert, cheater, El Tuve. Let's keep this rolling. I wonder what made them decide to put the refractors on the back. The last one in the pack. And there's our first Lou Bob. It's not the Lou Bob we want. There's a trout. Caught a trout. So I will sleeve that. I'm actually going to sleeve that trout as well. It's almost, you know, trout's becoming like basketball with veteran basketball players where even the base trouts are starting to become worth a few bucks. I'm sure this card not worth a lot, but I bet you it's worth a buck or two. Somebody tell me in the comments. Is that base trout chrome worth over a buck? I know I had a guy 
There's another Gavin Lux. Had a guy uh, trying to buy all my trouts. I have this huge box of trouts. It's just trouts. He uh, wanted to give me a quarter a piece for him, and I laughed at him. Told him to go, you know where. He's like, oh, I buy them for a quarter all the time. Well, you ain't buying them from a quarter from me. <laughs> so I got a whole box of trouts throughout the years, the last five years. Glass now, prism. Devers on the back. So no Lou Bobs. No Lewis's. Got a couple lu base luck so far and got that Dylan Cease auto. Vladdy on your daddy on Vladdy, who's your daddy on the back? A couple Blue Jays in that pack. So two packs left and we're halfway home on the base. So again, this video is going to be a little longer, but we are Lou Bob hunting. Hopefully we find. One, there's the refractor, Dansby. Just hoping to find a couple. Will Smith, freshman. There's a Rizzo. Put that in my Cubs pile. Future stars, Will Smith. All right, so we're down to the third pile of the base packs. Keston's starting to hit some bombs, too. Let me uh, move this base over so I can start a new fresh pile. I think he's got 11 bombs. He just isn't hitting for average. And he plays for the Brewers who don't get hobby love typically. But hopefully... And we got a purple. First color card. Jack Flaherty. So we've had an auto and a color. So not real excited about that one, per se. Considering I'm a Cubs fan and that's a Cardinals card. But hey, it's a colored, it's purple. Can you call them colored cards anymore? Or is that too uh, politically incorrect? It's a purple, it's a purple. And there is a Jordan Boas. All of a sudden, I know he got hurt and he's done for the year, but man, people like Operation Bailout on Jordan. That dude's a stud. Just hold on to your cards. Get them graded. Next year, when he comes back and he's healthy and starts hitting bombs, this dude's value is going to go way up. So there's a nice rookie. Two Luxes, one Jordan. We definitely want more and more rookies, I'll tell you that. Tatis Cup. I probably should sleeve those Tatis Cups. There was a... Ian Desmond Refractor. Because the way he's playing, I might have to... Man, no base. There's another Lou Bob. So finding some Lou Bobs there. I mean, it's not a bad card. We're looking for some Lou Bob base. It's all about the base, guys. Lou Bob, where did other Lou Bob? Did I pull? I pulled another Lou Bob, right? There was the Lou Bob. Let me put that one on a top loader. Let's move those over here. Put them up out of the way. Let's put the Lou Bobs here. Insert Lou Bobs. Not getting all excited about that, but. 
would love some base. Mookie Refractor, Dodgers uniform. So, wouldn't say we're doing horrible. Wouldn't say it's great. Just takes a few pinks, too, to really turn the tide here. And a lubop. That's why we're here, boys. First lubop. Hopefully not the last. Hopefully a refractor pink would be fabulous. A couple pinks. So there's the first lubop. Let me get this cardinal out of here. I'm sick of looking at that dude. There we go. Lazardo. So there we go. I mean, so far, not too bad. Still a lot of packs to go. Not done with the third row of these. There's a Lazardo refractor. That's not a bad card. I want to put that in a sleeve. So that's not a bad card at all. Yeah, I was hoping to pull more than just one Lou Bob. I'll tell you that. Hopefully we get lucky. We'll keep it rolling. Thanks for tuning in. This video is going to be a little longer, but... I just wanted to do one video. And then I was so excited I didn't eat dinner, so I'm starving as well. Rowdy Chili's chrome on the back. Rowdy, rowdy, rowdy. There's a Jordan on the back, freshman flash. Harper, I'm just going to sleeve him. Come on, get in there. Freshman flash. Okay, so the last row of base packs. So there's the last 15. I've opened up 45 so far. Three in every cello. Too many of these inserts on the back takes away your chances. Oh, Tony. Willie Adamas on the back refractor. That might be the second Willie Adamas. Unless that was the last opening. And then we get into the pinks. KB Refractor. That'll go on the PC. KB. Put that in a sleeve and then I'll put it over my Cubs pile. Again, he needs to start swinging the stick. Him and Hobby look terrible. Oh, man. Why Why is that one not a refractor, boys? It's not an autograph, is it? Oh, that's even better. Hello, beautiful. All right, that's a big card. Hello, Kyle Lewis. So wheat. Prism. Beautiful. So it's been a Kyle Lewis kind of night. It's a big card. Whew. Let's uh let's get that's let's get Dylan Cease out of there. Lou Bob, and then here we go. Actually, we need Lou Bob front and center. We are Lou Bob hunting, so not bad. Still 
quite a few packs to go. Brenda McKay on the back. I was like, was a little thrown off there for a second. With the Lewis on the back, I'm like, wait a sec. Why is that not a refractor? Oh, wait, it was a prism. Sweet. I, I don't understand why those don't say refractor on them either. Verlander refractor. Can see that. Thanks for hanging in me. This is definitely um, a longer opening than usual. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. Another Freshman Flash Jordan. That's the second one of those. It's probably going to be, I don't know, almost 40 minutes. Big Meat Pete on the back. Here's the first Nico. That'll go on my PC. I'll top load that later. Nico Horner, just the base. Add that to my PC. There's May. And then Big Meat Pete. Few more base packs left, guys, and then we're Glaber Refractor. Wow, it's been a Bo Bichette kind of night, and I'm okay with that. Wow. Hit two in that first opening, spoiler alert. And then here's one here. Wow. So we're getting the good rookies, guys. So there's Bo. Man. I didn't see who was on the back. Oh, yeah, it was Gliber. That's right. Keston on the back. Another auto. Unfortunately... Sponsored by Hefty, Trash Bag Autograph, St. Louis Cardinals. So, what do we know? Let's look at this guy. 343 at bats, 118 hits. Batted 344, dang. 15 bombs, dang. All right, well, maybe he's not trash bags, but he is a Cardinal, so either way, he is a trash bags. <laughs> As a Cubs fan. Sorry, Cardinals fans. It's all fun and games. So second, and there's um, Solak. He's kind of, come on, I better at least put a soft sleeve on him. Come on, baby. I don't think he's gradable yet. Unless it's like a refractor. But I'll put him on my good pile for now. Not sure how he's hitting recently. Walker Bueller refractor on the back. Come on, we're due for... Let's get another Lou Bob. Come on, Lou Bob. I don't like getting these inserts on the back. That means you don't get a refractor. Okay, here we go. Last base pack, a Jordan. Dang, man. Lots of Jordans from that backpack. So out of the base packs, we hit two autographs and one color card. And there's the Jordan. Let me put the color card. So here's some of the bay. Let's put the color card there. Kind of get an idea of what's pulled out of those. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. Housekeeping for these pinks. All right. Those are out of the way. Here we go. 20 pink refractors, 100 Pinks. Let's see what we can pull, guys. Let's get some big rookies. 
we hope. That's not the big rookie we're looking for. There's a couple rookies in there. Machado, not the rookies we're looking for. So five per pack. Come on, Lou Bob. I think the Lou Bob pinks are selling for like 60 to 80 bucks in the pink. So far, no good rookies. Mookie. Arnado, two really good players right there. Dang, Nola. Hello. Lubob. Boom. That one came pretty early. And it looks really good. All right, it's early, and there's a lot of time left to pull a second Lou Bob. So lots of rookies searching for Lou Bob. We got Lou Bob. So we're going to move Kyle Lewis over. Let's do this. Let's do, like, a little fold there. Let's get Lewis right here. There we go. And again, you take these pinks, you put them in a box, put them in a sleeve, put them in a box, and let them sit. And then a few years from now, a guy starts popping off. Like, a, like for example, Justin Bieber is the perfect example. Hello. Hello. It's heating up. It is heating up with rookies. You know, you get like a Bieber where... He starts popping off, and a Bieber PSA 10 pink is like 150 now, which is insane. Wow, guys, look at this. Woo, come on, we got lots of pink packs. There's a Rizzo for the PC. We got lots of pink packs left. We could double up on some of these guys. We still have Jordan and Bo and Lux, even though Lux isn't hitting for crap. Aquino. Let me get that up there. Oh, I'm not going to sleeve him. He's not sleepable right now. Charlie Blackman. We're not quite halfway home with the pink packs. Again, 20 packs, 100 pinks. Pulled two monsters so far. Hopefully a couple more. These pinks are pretty tough to get, guys. Rowdy Chalez. Nobody knows the print run, but man, they are tough. And then you add on getting graded too. Man, that's where, dang, another Aquino. Is it the second pack? No, nah, I don't think we had Kikuchi. See, like you get those and imagine doubling up on Lou Bob. Bang, bang. But... It can happen. Just pulled this guy. We've doubled up on him. And I figured I'd buy these and then call it, call it a year on Chrome. I mean, I could keep spending a lot of money on these, but at a certain point, you kind of have to get the cards you get and... Unless, I mean, if I found these in the store, I'd be the, buy these all day, every day, until they ran out. Is that the uh, Jordan? See the cup? Dang, it's the Vladdy Who's Your Daddy, which isn't terrible, but I thought maybe that was the Jordan. Dang. Okay, so we should have 10 left, if I, unless I grabbed one off there, but I think there's 10 left. Lots of cards.
doubling up on some of these guys. Would like to double up on the good guys. Come on, tops. You're going to double up. It's always the bad guys you double up on. You notice that? It's never, never the good guys. It's always, it's always the hefty. Sponsored by hefty trash bags. Last little stretch. Again, thanks for hanging in. This, this video is probably going to be about 40 minutes. I usually don't go this long, but I uh, figured this would be worthwhile. Thanks for all the support out there, guys. Somehow my videos are getting out there, so if you're helping out, I really appreciate it. Rookie there. I've been getting tons of new subscribers, tons of views. So obviously my channel's kind of hit some, some type of trend. So I appreciate anybody and everybody who has commented. Thanks for all the positive mojo. And there we go. That's not trash bag, guys. Lube up. Boom. Let's go, baby. Double down. Can we get a triple? Unreal, dude. Let's go. Lou Bob. So we've hit a Kyle Lewis pink, a Lou Bob pink, and a Lou Bob pink. Wow. Hello. Beautiful. It's been a pretty decent night on these. Still have one, two, three, four, five, six to go, guys. 30 more pinks. Still looking for Jordan, looking for Bo. Looking for another Lewis, but we would love another Lou Bob Lazardo. Brennan McKay. Definitely not Garcia, and I'm a Cubs fan. <laughs> he got traded, I think, or not sure who he's with. He almost looks like Javi Baez in the autograph. I saw somebody's autograph. He looks like Javi Baez with the sun. He's got sunglasses on. Walker Bueller. Oh, Tony. Blake Snell. No rookies in that pack. Coming down the stretch. Toro. Another rookie. Yelich. Cruz. Three packs. 15 cards. Again, thanks for sticking it out if you've been here the whole time. Over 20 minutes is a long time for a video to stay tuned into and watch packs. There's a Nico going to the PC. Let me get him sleeved. So pink. And you know what? We all like pink, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Pinks look good. Little Aerosmith pink is my favorite color. There's a Bradley rookie. Collins rookie. Wrong white socks. Okay, last pack mojo. Bing, bing. Here we go. And we'll do just a little recap. And there you go, last pack mojo, boys. Ooh, let me put that down for a second without knocking over the camera. Got a Gavin Lux pink. So still a good card. I'm not gonna lose faith in this guy. He hasn't played, he doesn't have all that many plate appearances. People are trashing him already. So, wow. Here we go. And there we have it, guys. So let me kind of do a little recap. I'm just pulling these. So we had just a ginormous stack of these are all the veteran pink. Um, so there's that. This is the non. Man, the camera's almost falling over. Let me readjust. 
This is all rookie pinks that I didn't pull out. Two Collins there, two Bradleys, two of a lot of these guys, two Aquino. So we got on a run there. Like, this is why you got to look at your cards. You know, we got two Lou Bobs, so we didn't get any Jordan, so we kind of missed that side of it. But that's what's crazy about this, uh, about opening up cards of this magnitude, especially buying from one person. You don't know where they got them. But you don't, you can get on a run where you get a lot of the same cards and it can be very beneficial. So here's the, Basically, that one in every 10 packs, an auto, one color. That was it, one color. Both base autos, I believe. Yep, didn't see any color on that. And then, uh, let's wait on Lou, Bob. Let's wait on Lewis. So we had one Boba Shet base, one Jordan base and then lux was a nice run here here we had two luxes and one pink so not bad it's a nice little stack lewis was excellent the pink and the prism i still think i wish they would put refractor on the back that bothers my ocd because it is basically a refractor and then let's face it boom Two pinks, one base, couple inserts. We were searching for Lou Bob, kaboom. And then I should probably should have shown this off, but like here's the rookies that were refractors or prisms. So those have some outside shots. And I for that's not a refractor. That was just the base that I put in a sleeve. And then always, this is what I do right here. You know, don't count out, pulled. Pulled a couple of Nikos too, so I kind of you got to look at that. Those just go in my my collection. So anyway, again, thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. We went Lou Bob hunting, and we got those Lou Bobs. You guys have a great evening. Peace.